today we're going to talk about shoes and shoes specific to our activity. So when we look at different shoes, we're trying to figure out what works for this activity and what doesn't. In the big scheme of things, we spend a lot of time from November, December, January, February playing with shoes, torquing them around, moving them, seeing what's out there and what's not. We want you to look at the cross trainers, the trail shoes, and generally those are the two that will work best for our activity. You wouldn't show up in a pair of football cleats, so we don't expect you to show up in those, nor do we expect you to show up in running shoes or some other shoes. Running shoes aren't stable enough up here, so unless you're running in a straight line, they're not going to be built for what we do. One of the trainers said to me, you know, Dr. Freeman, we don't let our performers use taco shoes. I said, what's a taco shoe? He said, you know all these lightweight shoes that guys like? I said, yeah. He says, well, they bend like a taco. If they look like a taco, we don't let them use them. And he's got a good point, because these are horrible for our activity. All right. The trail shoes, we like. What you're looking for in a shoe, it's got a good mid stiff midfoot. So stress fractures, things like that, are out of, the, out of the realm of things. It's got a nice solid heel counter. So it's pretty weather resistant. Between $39 and $69, you can go to Kohl's or Dick's or Shoe Carnival or one of those places that has shoes with your shoe list, and you'll find these shoes pretty readily. Conversely, you can go to Amazon.com. If you already know your shoe size, you're in pretty good shape. I don't really care about sh the brand of shoes. Asics work really well for us, Saucony works really well for us, New Balance works really well for us. You're going to go through these shoes so fast, you're going to destroy one pair in pre-tour, you're going to have another pair for tour. People who have a large amount of rotating mass, i.e. drummers or tubas, they're going to have, they're going to be harder on shoes than the rest of everybody. The day-to-day -day shoes, you know, these are fine, these are cross trainers, they're good leather, they're 49 bucks. This is a New Balance 608. Uh, retail price on New Balance, the 608 is $60.80. Uh, you can usually find them for about $49. So when you know, you're know you looking for shoes, keep some of those things in mind. For those people who come every year and their parents feel like they need more expensive shoes, I've added those to the list just in case your parents feel like a more expensive shoe is better for you. I don't feel like that because you're going to trash it as quick as you get it. There's no use to buy an expensive shoe for our activity. The $39 to $69 range is a very well-built shoe. It's going to do what we need you to do, and you're going to be able to get two or three pairs of them. So, you know, trying to make a pair last through the whole summer doesn't ever work. The first thing that people do when they're injured, the nursing staff or the staff sends me a picture of their shoes gives me clues as to what kind of things they've got going on. You're going to have a set of insoles that you're fit for. They're going to go in these shoes. And once all that's done, you're going to be ready to roll. If you do have an injury, one of the things we want to tell you around here is to make sure you tell someone. If you tell someone you've got an injury before it gets to be an injury, we're going to be in a lot better shape than when you found out you've got a stress fracture and we have to put you on a bus to go home. So bottom line is, you're going to have a great year, get the right equipment, don't hesitate about getting ice on things. Good luck, gentlemen.